Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Carol Ann or Wahi, and today is a very, very special video, um, which I'm super surprised. Um, I've been getting a lot of feedback on when this video is going to happen. Um, but in today's video, I'm going to be showing you um, the entirety of my Frank Ocean merch collection, I guess you could say. Um, so over the years, I've been collecting some magazines, uh, CDs, etc. Everything that I could possibly get my hands on um, because I absolutely love Frank Ocean, as I've said before. Um, so I'm going to show you everything one by one. So it might be a little bit of a longer video, um, but I hope that you stay tuned um, to check out, you know, all the things that I have. Um, I will preface this, there's one item that I do not have that I physically own, but I can't find it right now. Um, but I do have the WorldNet hoodie, but I actually left that at my parents' house which is about like an hour away and this video was so requested I just decided I will leave it out um, but I'll insert a picture right here of me wearing the hoodie um, so then that can be your glimpse of me enjoying the world net hoodie um, but yes yeah, so let me get into it by showing you first off um, my blonde thing okay so the first item that we have here is probably one of the most precious of the Frank Ocean items that I have and this is the blonde vinyl. So I ordered this vinyl during the um, 2016 Black Friday sale that he had on his website. Um, so here's the outside, obviously black and white. And then on the back we have a track list as well as a picture from the Boys Don't Cry magazine um, and track list on the other records. And then on the inside, which is so beautiful, so we have this picture, which is also in the Boys Don't Cry magazine. And then here um, we have the basically like production notes and like credits for each song. Um, and then, so I'm gonna put this down for a second so I can show you that this is the side one and side two and yeah so we've got another boys don't cry photograph so this is record one sorry I'm like blocking it so this is the first record this is the second record which I feel like I'm not gonna pull it out because you get the gist of what it looks like but basically a girl smoking a joint it looks like and this is the second one. So this is my blonde vinyl. I play her pretty often. Um, usually whenever I'm listening to records I like to throw this on just as a reminder of what the greatest sound out there is like. <laughs> um, so yeah and also on the side it just says Frank Ocean Blonde in that blonde script. So there we go, starting it off. Then to keep it going with the vinyl, I have here a Channel Orange um, vinyl. I must mention, I believe Channel Orange was never officially released on vinyl by Frank Ocean himself. Um, so like the Endless vinyl and the um, Blonde vinyl, those were official releases from Frank Ocean. This, I'm pretty sure, is like a bootleg, so somebody just turned this into a vinyl. Um, but this used to be, and is still among, my favorite records. So I just bought this. I'm pretty sure I got this shit on Amazon. <laughs> um, so I'm sure if you want one of these, you could definitely still find them. Um, but on the back, it just shows all the track lists and the very classic channel orange on the front and then um, on the inside we have the record and it has that like play button um, that he uses a lot um, but just basic white sleeves like I said this isn't official so like I don't think there's anything too cool about the record itself I just like having this on vinyl because it's such a good album um, and I just want to be able to play this when I play some of my vinyl. Moving on in the vinyls of sorts, 
Um, I posted a video where I showed all of my Endless merch, which again, I know I'm plugging that a lot in this video, but if you want to see that, it's on my channel. Um, but here I have two Endless vinyl, so one of them is not opened, and the other one is opened. Um, so the reason I have two is because when I ordered Endless months ago, I was in a relationship with somebody and we were both very huge Frank Ocean fans. So I wanted to buy them um, the vinyl for Christmas. Hilarious that it ended up coming in March. <laughs> I mean, in April. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's why I have two. Um, but anyway, so I'm gonna show you the unpackaged version. So we have this beautiful front with that holographic, um, you know, style to it, which is just gorgeous. And I seriously, like this is probably my favorite vinyl art that I've seen. And then we have the same on the back with more of that holographic. Um, and then you open it up and it has the lyrics of each of the songs that is on Endless. Um, and then we have pictures down here and it says 46 minutes of 120 hours in the life of Frank Ocean. In the back we have another photo of him during the Endless live stream. And then we have this impeccable detail, which is very hard to catch on camera, um, but it spells out Endless <laughs> and it shows all of the songs on there as well. Maybe I can get a close-up detailed shot. Um, and then on the other side, it has the endless staircase. I definitely think a lot more thought in production went into the endless vinyl packaging versus the blonde vinyl. Um, the blonde vinyl is pretty simple and just has standard paper um, sleeves for the record. But for this one, it's very nice material. There's stuff printed on it like photos um, and it has like uh, the lyrics and everything, whereas the blonde vinyl is just very simple. Um, not to say that it isn't amazing and great, but this one definitely feels like there's way more thought that went into this one. But this is just the second record sleeve. I just hit myself in the face. This is the second record sleeve um, that has the lyrics, like I said, and more photos. Okay, now moving on, I have the blonde on CD as well which was another official release from the 2016 Black Friday sale. Um, I'm out of breath because I usually leave my blonde CD in my car, <laughs> so I had to run out to my car to get it. Um, but we have the cover of like the same Boys Don't Cry photo of him in the helmet, which is a pretty sure a, like custom made helmet from some Japanese designer or something like that. Um, but on the side it says Frank Ocean Blonde. And then on the back we have the blonde cover with the track lists. So this is an official release by the way because I bought this in the Black Friday sale. And then again we have the production notes, basically the credits, another the girl smoking the joint. Um, the credits continue and then we have the gorgeous CD um, with the um, person with their hands across their face um, and then it says blonde in black. Um, so this is very beautiful like I love this packaging. Um, I'm getting like a new stereo system so um, I can play my CDs because I have other CDs I'd like to be able to play but of course Blonde is definitely one of them. And then moving on once again I featured recently an unboxing of me unboxing my Endless merch. Um, so here we have the CD and DVD of Endless by Frank Ocean which was the follow-up to Channel Orange just before Blonde was released. Um, so we have this gorgeous holographic packaging um, and see-through on the back, which shows the CD on the top and the DVD on the bottom. Um, I don't know what's up with this packaging. I'm not too satisfied with it, even though it is aesthetically pleasing. It tends to make the DVD fall a little, and I'm kind of worried of it getting scratched and stuff. Um, but yeah, it has the endless spiral staircase on it, which is super beautiful. Um, 
And if you'd love to see, I mean, I don't even know if it's more in depth, but if you'd love to see the whole endless collection by itself, I have that video on my channel that I just posted about last week. So you can definitely check that out. Um, but yeah, so this is Endless by Frank Ocean on CD and DVD. I have the Endless VHS tape, which um, also has the holographic packaging on the side that says Endless, and then a photo of Frank in the large warehouse. Um, and then you pull it out and we have the endless tape which is white and just says endless on it very basic um, but it features the entire film of endless um, that he created on the live stream and then a compilation together um, so yeah and here's another two photos of the warehouse and some headphones so that's everything of like the physical releases of the um, like CDs and vinyl. However, what I'm going to get into now is both of my Boys Don't Cry magazines, which actually have uh, CDs within them. So these are the giant sleeves um, of packaging that my Boys Don't Cry magazine came in. Um, so, um, there's different issues of the magazine. Apparently there's three of them. So I believe I have number two and number three. Um, but all of them I believe say issue one on them, but it has this really beautiful like blonde sticker on it. Um, and it says all the people that it's featuring, such as Kanye West. Um, so I'm definitely gonna get these framed um, so I can put them on my wall. Okay, so here is one of the magazines that I have, and I believe that this, yeah, it says issue one. Um, I have a different one that has a, a different cover, so all of the issues have different covers. But this one features somebody who looks like they're wearing curlers, and it looks like they have like a tab on their tongue, maybe it's acid or something. Um, but yeah, so it says boys don't cry on the side, and then on the back we have the beautiful um, back shot of Frank Ocean wearing a Napster hoodie. I mean, sorry, not a Napster hoodie, a Napster t-shirt, and then I can't read what type of hoodie that is. Um, but this is definitely legit. And here is the part that I was talking about where it features another CD slot, um, which I don't have the CD in there right now. Um, I'm pretty sure I have it somewhere. Um, but yeah, so you could definitely get the CD if you ordered this. Um, but yeah, here's like just a snippet of some of the things. When Frank Ocean dropped the magazines, he dropped them in a bunch of pop-up shops um, around the States. I even think he did one in London. Um, but there was one in Los Angeles and I drove out to get a magazine, but I didn't get my hands on one. I was too late. Um, so after that, I wasn't sure if there was going to be a drop of the magazine where you could buy it online. Um, so I ended up buying it from a third party seller. I spent way too much money on it, but I was just like certain that it was going to be my only chance, um, to get my hands on the magazine. So I ended up buying it then. And then during the 2016 sale, the Black Friday sale, he released an option where you could buy the magazine. So I bought another one at a far more reasonable price. Um, but I'm not sure which of the issues, which one was the one that I ordered um, because I kept mine sealed for a really long time because I was just like, I don't know, like I wanted to open it, but I didn't want to like unseal it for some reason. Here is the second Boys Don't Cry magazine that I have that again shows a different cover. This one is personally my favorite cover. I think it's super vibrant and super beautiful. I absolutely love like the shot. It's just like so incredible. And then on the back there is a different back. Um, and again it says issue one but there are different issues. Um, so yeah that same person. And then here is the CD, and this one actually has the CD in it, which I know I have the other CD. I just have to find that. Um, but yes, so this is my other issue that I have. So some more glimpses. It should have the same exact content inside of it. But the reason I have a CD missing is because me and my friend had heard that 
like issue three came with a special version of Nights on it. So we were like looking through um, my magazines and pulling out the CD um, so that we could listen to it to see if it had a different version of Nights, but it didn't end up happening. So there was not a different version of Nights on there. So I don't know if that's still true, um, but I'm pretty sure people have talked about that before. Okay, and so that's everything that I have from the Black Friday sale. Um, However, there's one more thing. Um, so I actually ordered, I think two or three um, of the car fresheners. Um, so I know I'm such, I'm, so, I'm such a bad collector. So I had one of them in my car and then I saved two of them to in my room at my parents' house. Um, but my parents ended up moving everything out of my room because we had to redo the carpeting and we had like a leak and issue. So I lost my um, air fresheners from that, which is super tragic, and I'm still looking for them to this day. Um, and the one that was in my car, I think that also got moved when my car got intensely washed. Um, but you can Google that. I'll like insert an image here. I know I don't have them to show, so like maybe you don't believe that I have them, but I did have them. I just don't know where they are. They're just like lost in the void. <laughs> um, but I wanted to order everything from every sale that he has. So I definitely made sure to pick those up. I just did not take as good care of them as I wish I did so that I could show them right now. But now I'm gonna get into the magazines that I have um, that feature Frank Ocean, um, or he's the cover of them. So the first one that I have on top right here is the 032C um, magazine where Petra Collins um, photographed Frank Ocean um, in these gorgeous turquoise paint, uh, shorts um, and did basically like covered um, a whole section talking about him and there's some really great shots in here. Um, so Frank Ocean Exile on Main Street by Petra Collins. And yeah, it has some beautiful shots in here of him with some eyeliner, which I absolutely love. Um, so this is one of them. And then on the back, it just has a St. Laurent ad. But I ordered this online um, and it got delivered to me from Europe, I believe. So. Yeah, um, I don't think this is still available, but maybe you could find an ability to get your hands on them. I'm sure they're probably really expensive. And then the second thing that I have here was actually gifted to me from my cousin for my birthday, which I'm so appreciative of. Shout out to Larissa, my cousin. Um, but she got me the Golf Wang magazine. Um, so it says Golf Wang um, and has a receipt on the back. Um, so this is not exclusively about Frank Ocean, but he's definitely featured in this magazine because he was part of the collective of Odd Future. So like here's a shot of him from the She video where he's like playing the dad. Um, I mean he was playing like multiple characters in that video. Um, but there's some good shots in here of him. I just have to try to find them because this is pretty much about Odd Future in general and Tyler. Okay, here's the shot I was thinking of, but it shows him in the like straw hat from the she video. Um, so that's my Golf Wang magazine, which I keep in the same place as all my other magazines. And then finally, to top off um, all of this. have two of the ID magazines where Frank was interviewed and featured on the cover. Um, so as you can see, there are two different covers. So there's the one with his hand over his face, and it says yes or no. And then there's this one where he's shirtless and has some like googly eyes. like. Um, but again, they did a cover story of Frank in here as well. Um, where he was like the main person being interviewed. And there's some other great stuff in here too. Like they talk about SZA and Sid, um, who's from the internet and was also in um, Frank Ocean, I mean, sorry, in Odd Future. Um, but I think they were covering like him going on tour for all these festivals. Um, yes, 
look at that that is all of my frank ocean merch um i hope this wasn't too long of a video um but you got to see everything that i have and that i value so preciously um i often say like if I die, like the only thing that I would want to make a will for is my Frank Ocean merch because it is something that I hold near and dear to my heart and have been adamant about collecting over these years. Um, so I hope you appreciated seeing my little collection. Maybe I'll be able to add more to it if he puts out new music. Um, even if there were a way that I could like even collect the singles that he released, like I totally would do it. <laughs> I would pretty much buy anything of his that he put out like yeah I'm just I'm just such a huge fan um, but I hope you enjoyed this video I would love it if you would uh, leave a comment down below recommending um, other things that you'd like to see on my channel um, I know that this was requested from some of y'all and if there's like more videos you would like me to do related to Frank Ocean or related to music in general I would love to talk about it um I'm not the biggest like well-versed person in music but I definitely have my favorites um in hip-hop in rap in R&B and in general there's like the music genre of people who put out great music who put out great content um so if you'd love to see more stuff like this or if you have a recommendation of a video you'd like to see on my channel, please leave it down below because I will probably do it if you recommend for me to do it. Um, but please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching and I'll check you in my next video. So bye.